guys and welcome to the Hanzo Hasashi challenge preview. So, who do we need for the last tower? What's gonna be the special of the boss? Let's find out together. I haven't looked yet, so I have no idea. Defeat Hanzo Hasashi and his chosen champions. Uh-huh, okay. So, Sonya Blade for the last one, and only in the realm characters for Tower 4. Not bad, right? Not the worst requirement. Let's check out the boss battle real quick. Is it just me, or the changed classic Sonya's picture as well? It looks like she has different haircut. It definitely looks different. I know, guys, I've seen a lot of character changes. Freddy Krueger, Tanya. Barack, uh, someone else, I don't remember, but I've never seen in the comments the classic Sonya. But she does look different. I don't know, doesn't matter, she looks handsome and pretty. So, after five seconds, Hanzo becomes enraged against current class of opponents and his damage increases. Haha, <laughs> And all my characters are the same class, so basically he'll remain enraged. Is it good that we're using one class, or is it bad? Does it mean that if we lose, if we use three classes, he's gonna get enraged three times? I don't know. Let's just let's just fight and find out, guys. This is a little bit confusing. What does it mean he becomes enraged? Enraged. Well, against the class after five seconds. After five seconds of what? Of the beginning of the ma match? What's the point to wait five seconds? He could just become enraged right away. It wouldn't change a thing. But okay, let's just let's just see and find out for ourselves, right? Okay. <laughs> become enraged on me, boy. I wanna see your rage. Increase damage versus spec ops. Okay. What if we like Aha, uh -huh. so guys, I may figure out the trick how to... Oh my holy crap. You call that increased damage? That's insane damage! Oh my god, he does insane damage, guys. I may actually lose right now. And that would be embarrassing. Okay, kill her. That wasn't my plan, but okay. So, if we, for example, use two spec ops and one outworld and if we start the game with an outworld you know what I actually want to test it out I'm curious now oh actually I have no choice I lost <laughs> oh my god I used such a powerful team for the normal challenge did they finally increase the difficulty for normal challenge that looks insanely difficult okay so let's try what I just said I'm gonna be trying to use Melina, that Melina is gonna be the current opponent when he uh, gets his enragement, and hopefully he will be become angry on Melina and not on my other girls. Okay, let's tag to Melina. Hello, handsome. Okay, become angry on her. Yes, increase damage versus Outworld. Okay, I can live with that. Now, now let's take with this girl. Is it is he gonna get enraged against spec ops? Oh my god, he does! Holy bonkers! Okay, guys! Do you see what it means? We finally got an interesting boss! <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Wow, and he after five seconds after I tag, he gets the enragement. Each time I tag, he gets more and more damage against the current class. So it feels like tagging is not very beneficial in this case. Oh, no, 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 my bad. My bad. I think I misunderstood. So, each time he tags... He changes his preference for damage, like if I t t change to spec up from the outworld and he was enraged for the outworld, he's not gonna keep all the previous enragement. So when you switch the character, five seconds later the enragement switches. Am I am I making any sense? Like so basically if you tag every like five seconds, 
then he won't get enraged at all at your current class. So it will make sense to use for probably Jade and some other two class characters. So you just tack, 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 tack all the time. Boom, boom, boom. And he does, he won't know who to get enraged for. That sounds amazing, actually. Guys, this is a fun boss. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fun. Look at this pretty boy. Are you ready to get it? By the way, I know a lot of people will, will be saying in comments, Oh, I don't have a challenge. How you have a challenge? If you have been long enough on this channel, you know that I'm, I'm doing challenge previews before the challenge starts. So if you don't see it in your game, it probably means it haven't started yet. I'm just doing it so you can see which characters you need for the last hour, so you maybe can start saving souls or find some other way to procure the required characters. But I don't really think that anybody would have a problem with Sonya Blade. There is even Silver One. Although I have to say, this guy, the boss, even in the normal difficulty, he's pretty tough, especially when he gets enraged in you. You will, will need to come up with some amazing strategy to uh, counteract this guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, in the next reviews, and the next previews, and the next awesome stuff. So subscribe, leave a like, a comment, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.